morning and welcome to Signet Screen Printing and Embroidery. Today what I'm going to talk about is our ink forming cabinets and the improvements that we've made to ensure that our inks are as easy and workable and easy to use as possible. So what we have here is our old method of storing our inks. Uh, you see they're just completely exposed to the elements. Um, they're all marked and labeled. However, again, they're exposed to the elements and that's really bad on really cold days like today when it's 15 or 10 degrees even outside. Uh, and again, on Friday, we're supposed to get that big snowstorm. That will really bring these temperatures down in here, and it will affect the ink. We use a plasticizer ink here. We use plastisol, so little bits of plastic are essentially in these inks. So when it gets colder, that plastic will start to harden. So now what I'd like to do is follow me, and I'll show you the new improvements that we've made on our ink for me. So what we have here is what we've now created uh, an ink warming cabinet. Uh, it's very similar to the other one, but all we did was we completely enclosed it. We enclosed the sides, and then we enclosed the front with um, these flaps on them. And then we put a space heater at the bottom, again enclosing the left and the right of the space heater. And then we have a thermometer on the top and the bottom shelf to ensure that the temperature is consistent. We like to try to keep the temperature right around 85 to maybe 90. We don't ever want to exceed 90 for the ink manufacturer's recommendations. Um, but we saw our inks going from when they were out and exposed to about 55 or 60 degrees. Now, uh, as I look at the thermometer, we're right at 88 degrees on the top and the bottom shelf thermometer. Come on in and you can see the grates that we put in here. This is a new addition that we just actually added to these um, and it's been phenomenal. Um, as I stated, the top shelf and the bottom shelf both have the same temperature of 88 degrees. Um, this is again the last and the final improvement that we made on these shelves. Before we had these in there, and as you can see, all we did was drill holes every few feet. The problem with this is it was not letting enough heat go through. So the bottom shelf down here would be at about 95, 100 degrees, and at the top it would be still about 60 to 70. So by having these metal grates in there, it's really made a vast improvement and we can really ensure that we're controlling the temperature. One other thing I want to just point out while we're uh, looking at this, ink warming cabinet is what we call Kanban cards. Uh, the Kanban card is tells you what type of ink it is, so this is a sienna brown color, what the PMS match is on it, who we purchased the ink from, the phone number, the cost of the ink per gallon, the product ID number, so when you call it in you can give the uh, individual who takes the order that product number, and then the lead time. So if I order it by 3.30 today, it'll be here the next day. So this has, again, been a vast improvement, in particular on the manual presses, where an individual is manually pulling that ink through the screen. So I hope you had a great day and learned a good amount about what we're doing here. Um, we are a screen printing company that offers both retail and contract work. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.